Hi, it's Elf from Boost Note. This tutorial is about how to use multiple views on folder pages. On Boost Note, you can use three different types of views Table View, Kanban View, and Calendar View. Each folder can have multiple views depending on your need, and you can switch the views based on your workflow. It's time to manage documents even more effectively. Alright, let's get started! To add a new view, you need to open the folder page. You can see the Add View button on the top bar, and when you click it, you will see the list of the views. You can choose either Table, Kanban, or Calendar view from here. After you choose one of them, you will see another view added to the top bar. So let's check one by one. The table view is the default view for BoostNote, and it will list up all of the documents in this folder using columns and rows. This is good for checking all the properties the documents have and reading through the information of each document at once. Please check the previous tutorial videos to know more about properties. Next, the Kanban view is suitable for making groups and categorizing your documents. As you may know, the typical use case is tracking the progress of the development life cycles. You can add a new grouping from the Add Status button over here. If you click these three dots, you can move the group to the left or the right and hide it if you think it's unnecessary to see. And like the other Kanban board tools, you can move around the status group by drag and drop like this. And if you click these properties, you can customize what kind of information you want to show on the card. Now I'm showing assignees and due date, but for example, if I click this new property, and then choose time estimate. And now I can see this time estimate under the assignees. And if I think that I don't need this time estimate anymore, I can always come back here and then click this hide button and you won't see this time estimate on this card anymore. Lastly, the calendar view is suitable for linking a document strongly with dates. For example, checking the task duration, when meeting minutes are created, and so on. And you can drag and drop the documents here as well, so even if you want to change the date and schedule of this document, you don't have to open each document one by one. And you can also customize what kind of information you want to see on the each card in this view too. So let's open properties and then add new property. And for example, let's add assignees. And now you can see a small icon on the each card. When you don't need this view anymore, you can simply click these three dots next to the view name and choose delete. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope I can help you learn how Boost Note can be convenient for your team. And last but not least, if you found anything inconvenient or good ideas to improve Boost Note, feel free to send us issues and pull requests on GitHub. See you at the following tutorial. Happy coding!